Hello world. Wanted to put together a quick screencast to go ahead and talk about a financial model I put together to help me choose a tire, a set of tires for my 2013 second generation model Prius. So uh, first thing I did was I looked for tires on Costco's website because I know that's um, that's where I'm choosing to buy tires. And they have pretty good prices and they also do rotations for five years, which is great. Um, as many as you want. So I learned about um, low rolling resistance through this thread, which is great. I'm not gonna go into details of that in this uh, talk through, but there are some great links on this page, which I'll link in this video which you can familiarize yourself with. The main thing I wanted to do was create a financial model that anal analyzes the difference, the cost difference between the Michelin Energy Saver, which is $686.96, and the Bridgestone uh, Quiet Track, which is for $1696. So I got this spreadsheet to compare the two. And there's another tab in this spreadsheet, which you can look at to put some other tires in while I was narrowing down my search to these final two. Because um, I wanted to weigh the difference between a low cost tire with the highest mileage life and a higher cost tire with the best uh, rolling resistance, which would be this Michelin Energy Saber, which only has a 50,000 mile life. So I came out with this spreadsheet. I'm going to talk through the formula real quick and then we can look at the data. So the first thing I did was um, with the Michelin Energy Saver, I took the cost of the tire and I had to assign some values, right? I have the, the life of the tire in miles down here. Um, I chose an average fuel economy value of uh, 3.2 seven five in this uh, scenario and then a um, average MPG of 56 miles per gallon so I'm choosing that uh, as an input and the idea is you, you'll notice that's higher than the other one uh, because I assume that my gas mileage will be better um, so with that we did uh, did a cost per mile calculation by dividing the cost of the tires, so a set of four, by the life, which is 50,000 miles, so we get that value. And from there, we're able to do a total fuel cost over the lifetime of the tire calculation by taking the uh, tire life value, multiplying, um, which is, uh, and, um, we actually divided by that by our fuel economy and multiplied that, which is uh, 56 miles per gallon, and multiplied that by the cost per gallon. So that's where that value came from. And using that, we were able to calculate a fuel cost per mile using the uh, lifetime uh, value of the tire and the total um, uh, lifetime cost of the tire. With that value, let's scroll over here. Um, we could do a calculation to see what the um, tires would cost for, um, that's the same value actually, column K, sorry, as uh, column F. Then we could do a fuel cost plus tire cost, so the total cost of ownership um, for the life of the tire. And this formula is right here. So we just add the cost in fuel plus the cost in tires, and then we get the total cost. And that's the total cost of ownership, right? And that's the last column there. So using that data, we can then figure out how much we would save. 
Right. And so the only way to save money on the energy saver tire is if the difference in fuel economy is greater enough that um, this number's in the green. And so that's, and that depends on your gas mileage and your fuel costs and the difference between the two. So that's what the, we can see in rows um, two through 12. We can see that the Bridgestone tires are, um, you'll save $80 in on cost and that, that savings will come in fuel savings over the life of the tire. If the difference in gas mileage is um, uh, 56 miles per gallon um, minus uh, 49 miles per gallon. So if the difference in gas mileage is seven miles per gallon, uh, you'll just about break even rate is uh, six miles per gallon. So 50 to 56, that range. And then we can kind of see it go down from here. If it's just one mile per gallon difference, if the energy savers just get you that extra mile per gallon in, in fuel uh, savings, you'll you'll lose um, uh, three hundred and thirty-seven dollars and ninety-nine point ninety-nine eight four cents, right? And part of that is because these these tires last a lot longer, so. Um, so this is, uh, you know, I think our most common numbers I have for fuel cost in California, but I created a couple other models down here with different values just to illustrate the concept further. So if we put in values of a lower fuel cost, say like uh, 275, which a lot of America is at right now, we can see that the spread is even wider, right? So it takes uh, 48 miles to 55 so about um a 12 or to 56 so 12 mile per gallon difference before you really start to break even or save money right breaking even would be about right there or somewhere between those two and the last one i, I did a higher calculation say gas prices went up to 475 then the band gets narrower so in summary, what does this model show? It shows that in these fuel economy ranges of 45 to 55 miles per gallon and at an, a fuel cost between 375 to 475, the um, Michelin energy savers at this current price aren't going to save you anything in the long run because the cost of fuels is low in contrast to the cost of the tire. However, if fuel prices were double, um, you would save with a higher efficiency tire. So um, if you're trying to uh, save money, go with the, this model shows to go with the Bridgestone uh, Quiet Tracks, Taranza Quiet Tracks. But if you want to try that great fuel economy, uh, go with the Energy Saver, uh, especially if you, you know, money's not an issue for you. But I know that um, this model is leading me to buy these Bridgestone ones. So that's what I'm going to get for my Prius next. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye.